So let me go ahead and throw this on, sis. Y'all don't come for me if I'm not doing this right. Just comment and tell me. So let's see how I'm gonna do this. I haven't put on a wig on camera before, but let's see, let's see. Hey lovelies, it's your girl Tanika Lane and we back in this thing. Alright, so first of all, I want to welcome everyone to my channel. All of my new lovelies, welcome. My name is Tanika Lane and y'all are now in this thing with us. To my existing lovelies, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today, as you can tell by the title, I have a wig review for you all. I'm going to be reviewing this wig that was sent to me by You Nice Hair Company. So this is gonna be a headband wig, so I want you to stay tuned so you can see all of the deets, the tea, the juice on this wig. All right, so I opened this wig already, but I have not tried it on as far as like putting it on with my head all done up. So this is going to be, um, again, this hair was sent to me by You Nice Hair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is gonna be their headband wig. This is gonna be my first time trying a headband wig and sis, I'm excited about it. I'm like super excited about it. So let's see if I can get some deeds. First, let me show you everything that came in the box. First of all, here's the wig. So as you can see, sis, I have on a ball cap. And I have my little baby hairs, try to do them up a little bit. I'm not good with baby hairs, but came, um, but yeah, so it came with this wig here. I'm gonna be trying this on for you, but first I'll go ahead and show you everything else that came in the box. It also came with some headbands, came with like, what, almost six headbands. And then it has this cute little bag with an extra headband in it and a set of lashes. This little bag is cute. So it came with a set of lashes as well. All right, so again, this is gonna be my first time trying out a headband wig. So sis, don't come for me if I'm not doing this right. So let me tell you what I did so far. My hair is just back in a very low ponytail and I just look like, uh, what did I use? I used um, like jam to like lay my hair back and for my edges, I use, I'll show you what I use. This here is, uh, I use this in one of my other, I'll show this in one of my other videos. It's the Grip Gel. Um, and I just use this for my edges, to lay my edges down. And I put a little band over it and I let them sit for a little bit. Okay, so here is the wig, sis. Look at these little curls. Look at these curls for the girls. Okay, so yeah, this wig has a little headband. Inside of the wig, it has one clip in the back, uh, three clips at the top. It also has an adjustable band back here, if you can see that. So it has all of these clips as well as the adjustable band. And then it has the little headband with the Velcro clips. So let me go ahead and throw this on, sis. Y'all don't come for me if I'm not doing this right. Just comment and tell me. So let's see how I'm gonna do this. I haven't put on a wig on camera before. But let's see, let's see. So, okay, let's see, do I have it on right is the question. Do I have it on right? I don't think, okay, here we go. There we go. And then you can push the clips into your hair. Let me see if I can get it in in the back. Hopefully I have this on correctly. Okay, y'all gonna learn with me. We gonna learn together today, sis. We gonna learn together. Okay, let me little clip this in the back. A little Velcro clip. Let's see how we do this. Okay, let me see. It's a little Velcro clip in the back. So as you can see what I'm doing now, I'm just adjusting it to how, how tight I want it to be. Let me see. I think I should tighten the bands up a little bit and more in the back, but okay, let me clip my little bear crow. Okay, so y'all tell me what do y'all think? Sis, tell me what y'all think about this. Zoom eating what? Hold on. Clip, clip, throw my wig on. 
What do y'all think about this? And y'all, I don't even have my headband on yet, but it looks like you can just wear this one because look at this, sis. It looks like just a headband, like a regular headband that you would wear. These curls are popping too. I thought I was going to have to put something in it, but no. I have a big forehead, so y'all excuse that, but still, I feel like this is cute. I feel like I could tighten it a little bit more in the back. Let me see how. It doesn't feel like it will fall off, but I feel like I could tighten it a bit. So hold tight. I'm going to tighten the actual, the adjustable straps in the wig because I didn't tighten those. So hold tight. Let me tighten those and then I'll get back with you and we're going to style this baby together. But sis, sis. Okay. So yes, yeah, sis, I just tightened this baby up a little bit. But what do y'all think so far? Will y'all rock this? Would y'all rock this though? Would you rock this though? Okay, yes, I think I might be feeling the headband wig. I might be feeling the headband wig. So yeah, let's see what headband should I try on out of these, these what, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Actually I have one more, six. These are all like springish colors too, to me. Like you can go with like springy look. I think I like this blue one here. I'm gonna try this one on with it, I think. Let me see. Actually, I might go for this one. This green is giving me all type of cute, cute vibes. Okay, so again, y'all don't come for me. Let's do this together and see. Let's see what we got. I don't wanna mess up my makeup, so I tried to pull it over my head. What? What? Where? What wig, sis? This curl pattern doesn't necessarily match my hair, but I'm not mad at it. I'm actually not mad at it. So, and y'all don't cover my edges, sis. I don't know what I'm doing with edges, but yeah. What do y'all think about this? I think that I might like to try this up, like in a pony. Okay, okay, I think I'm liking this in a pony, in the pony. It's so much hair though, like I gotta get it up, okay. I have a little scrunchie in my hand, so let's see who are, who is this with the ponytail? Who is this with the ponytail, wait, or should we do a bun? Let me scoot down, should we do a bun? Yeah, you know, I'm going to go run a quick errand. I'm just going to throw on my headband wig and put a little bun in it. Let's, let me make sure it's coming up the bag, so. Uh, yeah, let me turn around so y'all can see. What? What? Okay, I like it, okay. I like it up in a ponytail, like real talk. I like it up in the ponytail. This is super cute like this. I'm feeling this look right here in a bun. What y'all think? Okay, I can do this. I just need to work on my edges. I'm gonna look at some videos with edges, how to do these things right here. But yes, this is cute. The ponytail is my fave. What is your fave? Do you like it down? I think up in a ponytail, it looks a little bit more natural. Like I could do this, like the little ponytail. I'm sorry, I had to scrunch down a bit, but I think I could do this. So yes, details on this wig. Uh, okay, so yes, sis. let's get into some deets about this wig. So this is going to be the Eunice hair uh, curly hair headband wig. So all of the details for this wig will be in the description as well as the link where you can go order this wig. This wig is 24 inches. So in the beginning of the video, you seen it when it was down. So it's 24 inches. Hair is super, super soft. It's 150% density. So sis, like, like just with this wig, I am a work from home mom. So there may be times I need to hop on a Zoom meeting where, oh, 
what am I gonna do with my head? So normally I may throw on a wig and throw on a scarf or something like that. But with this wig, it's like super, super easy. Like super easy. It does not take long to do when you see me do it on the camera. The only thing I had to do was try to fix these baby hairs again, which I'm not good at. But this wig is super convenient, I must say. Like it is really, really convenient. And I think that down, it's okay down, but I think I prefer it up. But I wanna show it to you down again for those that would like it down. I think it looks more natural up. Okay, so let me show it to you down again. It's still cute down. So yeah, this is what it looks like down. Yes, and like I said, this is a convenient wig, sis. This is one of the convenient wigs, one of the most convenient wigs I have. I don't have to do too much. And, you know, I don't know. I was just looking at myself like, what? I really didn't think that I would like this wig as much as I do because I've worn half wigs before, but a lot of times you have to... One of my uh, half wigs that I normally uh, wore was a non-human wig. I don't remember. And I think it was some similar texture to this, but this feels really, really soft. But you would have to take your hair and put it over it. This one has a headband, which makes it way more convenient to where you don't have to have none of your hair out over the wig. You don't have to curl up any of your hair to try to match it to the texture of the hair. So I really like this wig. So you need, again, my second wig that I've gotten from you all. And I really, really like this wig. So again, yeah, this video was sponsored by Eunice, but I am honestly really liking this wig so far. It's really convenient, super convenient. My preference would be to wear it up in a bun or maybe in a ponytail. I dropped my scrunchie, but I'll show you kind of how it looks. So this would be up in a ponytail. And in a bun, you can, you know, wrap it however you want. Throw that little messy bun up there, sis. Throw that little messy bun up there. And this is what it looks like in a bun. A little messy bun. Yeah, so y'all tell me what do y'all think about this wig? I want y'all to comment right now and tell me, hey, sis, Tanika, no, sis, take this wig off or do y'all like the wig also? Like, I feel like it's super convenient. This is going to be one of my go-to, if I have to rush out the house, rush to the grocery store, this is going to be one of the wigs I carry or carry, grab and throw on my head. Hopefully, you know, I just push that hair back in a ponytail. Like I said, my hair is just back in a low bun in the very back and I have a little stacking cap over it, as you seen in the beginning and I just threw it on and went, sis. I threw it on and Wait. So, yes, that is all the detail and tea I have for this baby here. And what do y'all want to call her? Let's call her Curly Sue. Yeah, it's giving me total curly vibes. This texture of this hair is everything. It's different from my natural hair, of course. I have natural 4C, I guess, hair. My hair is uh, very curly and natural looking. Not this texture, but... To me, it still goes, you know? I think it still looks really, really cute. But yeah, like if I wear this wig, I think I'm more so gonna be wearing it back in a pony or in a high bun. So now that you all have all of the tea, I hope that you all enjoy this video. If you like this video and this wig, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna purchase this wig, again, all of the details for this wig will be in the description box. And before you all leave, before you leave, sis, and my brothers, everyone that's tuning in, go ahead and subscribe so you can become a part of my lovely family, a part of our lovely family, be family with us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And turn those post notifications on. So whenever I'm dropping these videos, I have some more hair, vi hair review videos for you all that you don't want to miss because I'm trying to give you all of the scoop on affordable hairstyles, easy hairstyles for you, like wigs like this and other wigs that I've reviewed. Um, I'm just trying to give you the tea, sis. So make sure you turn on those post notifications. And thank y'all as always. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for like just staying with me, vibing with me and checking out my new video. All right, lovelies. Love ya.